in this video we will actually work with products i mean admin can add products okay so at first actually i'm going to compute the design part for the add product so admin can add product right so actually we will create the file in admin folder and that is add product dot php so admin can add product so we will go to the dashboard and here you can see we have sidebar add product and in the reference i'm going to give the reference that is add product dot php actually i'm going to copy all the thing from here and i want to paste it here at least the html part okay now actually we are going to uh, you know work in this uh, div okay dashboard main div because this is the sidebar okay and now we will actually do it here and here i'm going to say that i need a form okay so actually i'm going to create a div first and i need form the action will be the same place so add pro duct dot php and the method will be post and i need some inputs uh field so the first one text okay uh, so let me just check the database so we need actually name description price right stock image stock image category id uh, category name okay so we need name first so for this actually i need text and i need to set the name as name and i need placeholder and i will say that enter uh, name here enter product name okay product I need one more input and the type would be text actually this is the description right so I need text area so I will write here text area and the text area name would be description I don't need the ID let's remove it I need a placeholder and I will say enter product description okay let me just check uh, you know real time so i will say localhost slash admin uh, okay uh, localhost slash our project name online shop and actually i want to log in as admin so i will say here yamin at gmail.com password is one two three log in now you can see we are in the admin dashboard and let's say I want to go for the add product. So here you can see we have added two input fields. You need price. So here I need one more input field and that is number because I need price. So here I'm going to say the name is price. You can actually give any name, right? Price and I need placeholder. I will say enter uh, price here. I need one more input field. And the input field uh, is also a number because uh, stock. So let me just check the structure. Actually, I forgot uh, the structure. So yeah, stock is also integer. So it will be also number. And here I will say that stock. I need. I don't need any ID. Let's say I want to remove the ID. And I want to set here placeholder. And I will say that enter stock or number of product okay stock number and the next input field let's go for it and that is image so i need file type would be file okay that's it and i need a name for the file so the uh, file would be image and when i use file that time actually i have to use here in type uh, multi-part form data okay that's it what next we need category id so input field text now uh, the category id if i go to the category table here you can see we have the category table right so let me go to the category table first and here you can see in the category table we have id so the category table id will be act as foreign key here right 
So um, actually, uh, I don't need to hide here. Actually, I want to uh, show here select option. I mean section. Okay, I want to add here section so that actually admin can you know select the uh, category ID and category name. Okay, so I'll select here uh, input. It's say here select. Okay, and I will uh, remove the ID. And I will say here option. And I will actually, you know, show the all the option here. Okay, and I have one more select option here, and the name I need, and I want to actually remove the ID, and let's select. I need to say the option. So yeah, like this. I'll actually, you know, do here uh, a loop, and here also a loop to actually know the uh, ID and name. Okay, uh, so yeah, like this. Uh, for now, actually, I'm going to set here uh, category ID. So I will go to the category table here. You can see uh, here. Uh, let me just copy the category ID. Okay. And uh, just for, uh, you know, testing purpose. Okay. And I need category name. So I will say here category name. And value would be, I mean, same as the field, okay? So, let me just paste here category name and here is category ID. Now, let's check how it's look like actually. So, I will go here and I will refresh. Okay, you can see we have a drop down uh, item. I mean, we have a selection here. We can actually select any item. We will actually add them through the database table, okay? Category table. Form actually, I have to give here submit button, so I need one more input field, and that is uh, sub uh, type would be submit, and uh, the name would be submit, the value would be uh, at okay. So refresh now, everything is working perfectly. And now, let's say I want to set it a class, so I will say here class, and let's name it dashboard. I don't need here the div extra extra div right so let me just remove this div and let me refresh here and everything is all right so i will say that okay dashboard main uh i want to set here dashboard main dot dashboard main input fields input fields i want to show them as block so i will say here display block now let's check Okay, now they are in the new line. So, and I have to say here that position, position relative. Okay, and now I can use not margin left. I will say use a left. Let's say forty five percent, or maybe I can use thirty five percent. Yeah, forty five percent is good. And I want to say top. Uh, let's say thirty five percent. Now it's not working, right? I said relative and I said left. Okay, can I use margin top? Margin top, let's say 250 pixel. Let's put it up. So it's working, right? And we got here a horizontal scroll bar, right? So actually I have to stop it. And I have to say here that overflow in X axis actually hidden. Refresh, there is nothing. And now I can actually say here that, okay, uh, margin top, I need, you know, I need to actually say it here 200 because it's too much. Okay. Now, actually, you can see it's uh, working perfectly. And actually, I want to create space outside of the input. So I will say, let's say of 10 pixel. Let's refresh. So you can see we have created space outside of these fields. And here I want to set padding also. For the input fields uh, inside space, okay. So I will say I need uh, you know 10 pixel padding. So you can see now, right now, actually, they are you know, uh, you know, much bigger. So yeah, like this. And uh, what next? I can actually set here 20, let's say. So uh, actually, I need to you know set here uh, less pixels. So let's say 150 because now, okay. Uh, 
can say here, let's say 100, or let's say 70 pixel. Okay. And now we have product name, we have description, price, everything here. And we can actually use here H1, let's say, uh, for the, so that actually, you know, admin can understand. So I will say H1, I will say, uh, or H2, let's say. And I will say here that, okay, uh, upload image. Okay, so we have categories, we have uh, select everything. So let me just refresh here. So, okay. And actually, I need the design for the text area also. So I will go here and I will do the same thing for the uh, text area. So what is, where is the text area? So here you can see the text area. And let me just uh, copy it and paste it once again for the text area. So I will say text area. Refresh. Now, uh, let's say I want to set width and height for it. So I will say uh, width. Let's say. 30%. So we have a uh, product name, product description, uh, enterprise here, in the stock number here, upload image here. So this is the upload image. And now you can actually select the category ID and category name. Okay. Then actually we can actually add product. Actually, I'm going to select here a class. So class will be, let's say button. Actually, I'm going to access the button here. So I will say dot button. I want to set the width of 30%. Just to check, uh, let's say twenty percent. Uh, let's say fifteen percent. Fifteen. Okay, so we have a nice button here, add button, and actually I want to set the background color. So I will say background color. Let's say uh, green, and I don't need any border. So I will say border radius. Let's say peeping pixel and two pixel. Refresh, add product. And actually, we can, you know, give the same uh, design to this, all of this. So I can actually set here border radius here and here also. So, okay. So, yeah. Okay. And I can set border, add set border here, right? So, I will say here that border, border bottom. Uh, let's say I want to set border left and right. Okay, left. Uh, let's say I want to set here border left. Let's say uh, like it's here, and I want to say right. Let me just copy it. We can actually add shadow on it. It uh, depends actually, right? According to your needs and your design style and your thoughts. Okay. So uh, you can do this or maybe you can do the default one. So it's up to you. We have to say here, I mean, two pixel solid color. Okay. Here also, two pixel each color. And let me just copy it. Refresh, okay. So now uh, I think I'm done, okay. So now you can do it more if you need and upload your image here. So I have upload side and here you can see I have section. So yeah, I can actually, uh, you know, increase the size here. So I will say that, okay, I need select option here also. So let me just copy it and paste it here. And I will say that main uh, select, okay. Refresh. Okay. Now you can actually select category ID and category name also. So no problem. And here for the select actually I can say that okay, I want inline block. Okay. Inline block. Okay, so yeah, this is like this. Okay. Then I can actually add a product. So now uh, our design part is complete. Now actually we will uh let me just remove the margin top, okay. Uh, let me remove margin top here. So I will go to the here. You can see left and margin top. I don't need. I left less. I just need ten pixel. Yeah, just ten pixel. Okay. Uh, so our design part is complete. Uh, okay. And uh, I will actually create one more video because the video will be very long otherwise. So um, then in the next video actually I'm going to you know do you know PHP work. Okay. 
actually I'm going to show you how actually you can validate it. I mean, how actually you can add product to the uh, MySQL database. Okay. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.